So my name is Hayden Brown and I work for Brazos Masonry. Uh, we're a masonry contractor out of Waco, Texas. Uh, I'm an estimator. Um, my experience with Zoom has been, uh, I guess, beneficial in the aspect that we've had to use it several times for uh, things such as scope meetings. Um, so we'll submit our bid, I guess, for masonry work on a building to a general contractor. Uh, and if we're selected, they they tend to like to have a meeting just to go over what all we are going to be doing on the project. Um, and since COVID has, or, you know, this whole thing has began, uh, Zoom has been like one of the biggest, I guess, tools we have in, in uh, as far as meeting people because we can't go have face-to-face -face anymore, um, you know, during the pandemic, so. Uh, I'd say it's it's relatively easy to use. I think um, maybe uh, my maybe the one the one downfall of Zoom would be the fact that it uh, maybe tries to do too much at times. Kind of like what I was just saying, it was asking me to join my the meeting that we're already in, so it's it's popping up, you know, interrupting the meeting we're having because it's asking me to join it. So I think just uh, maybe they're they're trying to do too much as far as reminders and um, uh, yeah, things like that to where it's actually uh, affecting negatively in a way. Uh, but I, I do like uh, the fact that it is so accessible and the fact that I can use it with things like Siri, the, the way that I can talk to you, you know, on uh, through my phone right now and not have to be sitting down with a webcam or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I, I'd say uh, really I, there's definitely more pros and cons. Uh, I, I can't think of really anything negative about it besides the the fact that it, they might try to do too much with, think, with things I mentioned before sometimes. <laughs> I like that I'm able to do uh, meetings from home. Um, I'm on my lunch break right now and I'm doing this. So that's very convenient and nice. Um, yeah, and I like the, the access, uh, I guess, through multiple different devices. I can use, you know, my iPad, my computer, my, uh, my laptop, um, really whatever I have on me and uh, with, with a camera and it um, just, you know, makes it to where it's, it's a lot more accessible and I can, a lot more mobile, I guess. I mean, yes, I've used Skype before. Uh, I'd say that, you know, Skype may be more of a, uh, I guess, for lack of a better term, dumbed down version. Uh, it just seems like it's more of a, or, you know, family to family, friend to friend type of thing to whereas Zoom seems like more of a professional choice, but you can also use it, uh, you know, with personal relationships, family, friends, anything like that. Um, and other than that, I mean, I guess you count FaceTime through Apple, things like that. And it's, you know, obviously a lot more high tech than that. And the fact that you, there's a lot more features and, you know, cross device, uh, cross software use and everything. But, um, but yeah, uh, I'd say zoom ranks ahead of any other one that I've used. I'd say I'd, I'd put, I'd put, uh, I'd put zoom in an eight, um, just as far as, you know, maybe making it, um, just because there's always room to improve. And I think Zoom's heading in the right direction. It's definitely on top of the game right now. Uh, but if they maybe make it uh, even a little bit more aesthetically pleasing or maybe, uh, which isn't really a, a factor right now, I'm just trying, I'm just brainstorming here. And then, yeah, just maybe uh, making sure that all their, none of their features that are supposed to be helping us are, you know, interfering with anything else that's going on at the same time. Um, but yeah, I, I'd say an eight. This is a solid, solid rating for Zoom.